Hello, Virgos. This is a reading for Virgo singles, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. See how you guys can attract that love that you so deserve, okay? Let's see what's going on with my Virgo singles. Let's see how you guys are currently here, Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, Virgo. Hmm. I think you guys are happy. I think, you know, you're looking for somebody that can bring to the table um, what you bring. Uh, like, you don't want to be the one that's always, like, trying to make somebody happy. You want them to bring, you know, the same thing that you're bringing here. You want commitment. Um, I think that's what you embody. I think you like to please people. Um, you like for everybody to be happy. It's just the kind of person that you are, I feel. And some kind, sometimes this can be like self-sacrificing here. If you're always one, you know, to try to like swoon people and, you know, make sure that they're good and they're happy, you know. Let's see what kind of person you normally attract, my Virgos. Hmm. I think a lot of you attract um, people that are maybe a little stubborn, um, maybe set in their ways. They like the finer things in life. Um, they like outer appearances. Okay. They have a very, um, they have a rich man's or a rich woman's taste, I feel. Okay. Let's see what you need to show off more. What about Virgos need to show off more? Virgo. That you're confident that, you know... That you can, you know, I get the feeling that some people, you know, when you are trying to, like, make sure that they are good, that they almost get the impression that they're the only ones that want you because you are showing them so much attention. But the fact that, um, yeah, you're attractive too. You're alluring. And you can get someone else. That this person or they are not the end-all be-all. Okay? That they're not the only ones that are attracted to you. So more of your, I feel like your sensual side. Um, more of the, more of a spark. More fire. More drive. Um, there's, a, there's a word I'm looking for here when I look at this card. That you're not just... You know, you're not just there to take care of them that you need, you know, attention to. You need for somebody to take action towards you sometimes. You know, it makes you feel good. Okay? That you need attention. You know, don't don't pretend like you're good all the time. Okay? Let's see what my Virgos need to contribute. Hmm. I think this is you guys not sacrificing yourselves all the time. Again, I get that a lot of you like, you know, you put other people's needs ahead of your own. And, you know, and I feel like that gives the people some people an impression that, you know, they are the ish. And then they require more from you because they feel like they deserve it. Okay? So this is you guys kind of um, just kind of sitting back and just looking at the world from a very introspective point of view, realizing that everybody um, does not function like you, okay? Everybody does not have the same intentions as you. So if you just kind of sit back and allow things to happen naturally sometimes, you will have like this bird's eye view of what the situation is really like. 
okay? Sometimes it's a sitting, sitting back and not doing anything at all. Letting somebody else do something for themselves. Okay? Kind of taking your hands off of things and seeing how things go. Okay? Let's see what, what you need to accept about yourself here. What do Virgos need to accept about themselves? That maybe you guys come across a little unemotional at times, um, which I know that's not the case because I see the Ten of Cups here. Um, maybe because, you know, the King of Swords can be misunderstood because um, they come across as aloof and non-filling. But they actually do have, like, all of these emotions inside. They just, they don't function from you know, an emotional standpoint, they use their logic a lot of times. They kind of observe situations to see how they should act. Okay? And I think this is like, you know, you almost like being um, a sponge that absorb, absorbs other people's um, energy, other people's problems even here. I think people lay their problems at your door. So, I mean, it's like, you know, people people view you as somebody that can handle this. Okay? So you're coming across like, you know, like things don't affect you. That's how you're coming across. Very non-emotional. Maybe a little arrogant at times. Okay? Maybe a little cold at times. Hmm. Let's see what kind of love you need. What kind of love does my Virgos need? Do my Virgos need? What kind of love do my Virgos need? You need somebody that takes action. That is responsible for themselves. Okay? That knows how to take the wheel when they need to. Or take the wheel, period. You need somebody that matches you. You need somebody with some spunk, some fire in their chart. Somebody that's confident in their own abilities. Okay? This is what you need. Let's see if my Virgos are ready for love. My Virgos ready for love. I believe so. I definitely do. I mean, this speaks volumes here. This speaks volumes here. Hmm. I feel like in the next year, um, most definitely, I feel like in the next year, probably around this time, a lot of you are going to enter into um, very stable long-term relationships here. Okay. Something that like really kind of like, you know, puts a fire under you. Let's see, how will you find love? Hmm. I think this is you guys leaving behind those things that, you know, are not good for you. Doing what's right for you. That is what the chariot is. Is moving on, moving fast past those things that bring you down, that are not on the same level with you, that do not vibe with you. This is going towards your own success. Okay? Doing what's right for you. Um, some of you, this involves traveling here. This is, this is um, some of you stepping outside of your comfort zone, whatever that means for you. Like if you're a homebody, it, it it entails you guys going out, okay? Something like that. Stepping outside of your comfort zone. Maybe with somebody that you would not normally um, date. Water sign, Cancer even, okay? Cancer Leo energy, okay? Let's see what attributes should your next partner have. This is the part I like. <laughs> The attribute, okay, the emperor, somebody that knows themselves, fire energy here. Hmm. 
somebody that does not need someone to take care of them. They just want to be with someone because they love them or they want them, okay? This is somebody that does not need anyone. They just want the person, okay? Very fiery. Let's see a boss, okay? <laughs> Let's get another card here. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. Hmm. Some of you guys um, have strong Aries person probably coming in for you guys here. And I feel like this will probably be during either the spring of between the spring of this year and um, between the spring of this year and between the winter of next year okay is what I'm feeling here is what I'm getting you guys okay so that's what I have for you but cancer individual I feel like would be um, good for you as well all right, my Virgo, so that's what I have for you guys, and I will be speaking with you soon.